tell how effective they'll be in curbing the regime's nuclear ambitions. While they're expected to deal a blow in the long term, most North Korea watchers say the new set of sanctions are ultimately not enough. Connie Kim has the analysis. The U.N. Security Council has adopted its ninth sanctions resolution on North Korea, being dubbed the strongest to date. But whether these punitive measures will be effective in curbing the regime's nuclear ambitions is up in the air. This comes as members of the U.N. Security Council failed to agree on the initial draft of a complete oil embargo. Instead, imports of both refined and crude oil will be capped at 8.5 million barrels a year. While it may be limited in terms of scale, experts say an oil cap on the north is a good starting point in maximizing pressure on the reclusive state. For a poor country like North Korea, which is heavily dependent on the outside for uh, oil, which is mostly spent, uh, used for transportation purposes, the new measures will represent a reduction of only 25 percent compared to the previous uh, amount, but still it's going to make an impact in my view. This resolution has significance as it started slapping sanctions on its energy. It also sends a signal that the North's crude oil supplies could be cut even more on the heels of additional nuclear and missile tests. Paired with other sanctions, namely a ban on North Korea's textile exports and a ban on renewing North Korean laborers' overseas contracts, these measures are expected to deprive the regime from nearly one billion U.S. dollars in annual revenues. Nonetheless, most North Korea watchers in Seoul raise skepticism over whether the set of sanctions will be enough in preventing the regime's further provocations. They forecast Pyongyang will push ahead with its goal of developing an intercontinental ballistic missile, topped with a nuclear warhead capable of reaching the U.S., while Washington will continue to compel North Korea to discuss denuclearization. Connie Kim, Agnew News.